Raja buys two jackets and one shirt for three hundred and twenty-four dollars. A jacket means one jacket costs four times as much as a shirt, one shirt. So I'm going to compare or draw a comparison model for one jacket and one shirt first. This one. One jacket, one shirt. Okay, so you know that one jacket and one shirt is actually, as comparison here, four times. The jacket is four times. So if I want to draw my model, the jacket is four times more, like this, longer, than your one shirt, like this. Okay, but I did not buy only one jacket. I bought two jackets. So one more jacket will be on top. I'm going to stack it upwards. Stack it up. Can you see I draw it on top here? Okay. And then I bought one shirt. And a total of $324. Right? So I want to know the cost of one shirt. I want to know this one. How much? This is, if you look at this, how many units or how many box? This is one unit only. To find one or each is always divide. So what is it that we're going to divide? So let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units is a total of $324. One unit is $324 divided by nine. We learned this just now, long division. Three, two, four divided by nine. HMS bring down, right? So how much three can be divided by, is there, how many threes are there in nine? Cannot, zero, All right? So we bring it down. There's just three. And then bring it down the next one, two, 32. How many nine are there in 32? There will be, that will be three, 27. Okay. Then you subtract HMS, right? So five, and then you carry down four. That will be six. Then you subtract zero, zero. That will be 36. Okay. So this is 36. One unit. So you can see that the shirt is one unit. So the uh, cost of one shirt is $36. All right. Okay. Ring files are sold at a bookshop as shown below. Lucy wants to buy 10 ring files. What is the least amount Lucy will pay? Least means the smallest amount. Okay. So you know that one ring file is six dollars, three ring files is fifteen dollars. Okay, so I want to buy ten. I want to buy ten. Okay, let's say that I want to actually uh, buy in groups of this is three, one, two, three, right? So I take ten ring files divided by three ring files because there are three ring files here to find how many. Uh, how many groups I can get from there? How many groups of threes I can get? This is finding the groups of the three files. So 10 divided by 3, there will be remainder. 10 divided by 3, 3, 9, and then 1. This is your remainder 1. 3, remainder 1. So it will be to get, to get only 9 files. How do you get 9? 3 and 3 times three, okay? It will be $15 from here times three group, okay? So this three tells me the groups of three files. In this case, there are three groups of three files, okay? One group, this is one group of three files cost $15 equals to $45, okay? So then you know there's a remainder one, right? It means this is one file left over, no group. So you must take the one file is $6. I want 10 files, right? So not enough, this is only nine. So I take my nine files, you need to have one more files. So I take one file plus your nine file, equals to, this is one file plus nine files. I get 10 files. I want this. The nine files I know is $45. The one files is $6. So I take $45 plus $6. 
$51. That will be answer. Okay? Shop A and V sells cupcakes. Ashley needs 36 cupcakes for tea party. She wants to buy from the shop that gives a better offer. How much will Ashley pay? So for shop A, you know that it selling it's selling at four for eleven dollars shop b six for fifteen dollars i need 36 cupcakes so you need to find for each group for shop a for shop a you need to ask yourself how many groups of four cupcake can she get will there be for this one you need to ask yourself how many groups of six cupcake can she get okay so you know that six is fifteen dollars we don't care about that we focus on the six first we focus on the four first i want to know how many groups okay so you know that six is fifteen dollars this means one group now i want to know how many groups are there for shop b to get 36 36 divided by six equals to six groups Okay, now we go on to the shop A. How many groups? So you take 36 divided by 4. Okay, and then you get 9 groups. All right? Now, what do you do? Let's, let's focus on, I want to know how much, which one will give me a better offer. So, one group for this one costs $15, right? So, this one is 15 times 6 equals to U times... You get $90. Okay, this one we can do split strategy also. Huh? This is 10. This is 5. And then 10 times 6. 5 times 6 equals to 60. And then here is 30. Now you plus together, you get 90. See? Can you split strategy? Okay, for this one, this is 9 group, right? So 9 times, this is 1 group cost. 9 times $11 equals to $99. So which one will give me a better offer? Which one is cheaper? $90 or $99? Of course, shop B. Okay, so it's $90. Shop B is cheaper. All right? For every table at the charity dinner, there were six men and four women. 180 more men than women attended the dinner. All the tables were fully occupied. How many tables were there? How many people attended the charity dinner? Okay, so we know that for every, when they say for every means uh, for each table, one table, let's say I have one table. Okay, this is the one table. Usually charity dinner will be circle table. Okay, we have a circle table, a round table. Okay, one table, I will have six men four women okay this is for every one table i do not know how many tables are there and i also i do not know how many men total and how many women total all i know is like that one table got six men got four women now what you need to do is for one table you see that men and women there is more men than women in one table right you can see one table, there are six men and four women. So let's find the difference. Six minus four equals to two. Two more men. So what is this? We are finding the difference in the number of men than women per table which is 6 minus 4. I get two men. All right. Then we know that if I say there's two more men, and then you look there, when I compare the total, I know that there are a total of 180 more men also than women. So I want to ask myself, how many groups of two men are there in one eight zero? That's my question. Okay, so I take one eight zero divided by two equals to ninety. All right. So there are ninety groups of men. So which means there are ninety groups of men means there are ninety 
tables. Groups means the whole one group is one table. Okay, this is one group or one table. Okay, so for part A, they're asking you how many tables were there? There are 90 tables. For part B, they're asking how many people attended the charity. So you know that one table, one table total is 10 people, right? So I take 90 tables times 10 people equals to 900 people. Okay, so A will be 90 and B will be 900. That's the answer. Okay, take note. Rachel had 200 red t-shirts and some blue t-shirt. She sold 32 red t-shirt and 36 blue t-shirt. She then had three times as many blue t-shirt as red t-shirt. This is a very important phrase as many blue as red. Okay, that's why I highlight in yellow. Very important. And then how many blue t-shirts does she have at first? Okay, so you know that this Rachel have 200 red t-shirt and some blue t-shirt. Okay, let's say red and blue like that. Huh? And then this, she sold 32 red and 36 blue. So which means my first time drawing for my red, I know that I can draw 200. Like that. Okay, this whole thing is 200. Then I sell 32. Let's say about here. This is 32, which is sold. Okay. After I sold that, she will have three times as many blue, which means the blue left over is three times. One, two, three. But remember, the blue also I got, I did sell something, right? I sold 36, this one. This is also sold. So when I say how many blue t-shirt did she have at first, I want to find everything blue here. Okay, so right now, if you look at this, if you look at this, this is the sold here, right? So what must I do? I must take away 200 minus 32 because I sold what? Sold means minus, okay? So when you minus, you get 168. So this one is out already. Okay, so 168 is my red t-shirt. So if this is 168, this is one unit. This is also one unit. So this is also 168. The next one here is also 168. The next one here is also 168. And then you have 36. So this you can find first. And then you add in your 36. Okay, so 168 times 3 equals to, we can do the split method just now, right? So this is 100, this is 60, this is 8. What do we do? Times 3. Times 3, times 3, times 3. 300, this is 1. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 0. This is 24. What do I do next? I have to take 300, 180, 24 and plus together. Okay, so equals to, all you have to do is just do the, this adding only, rather than you do the long multiplication. Okay, so it's not, it's plus. Not times, ah, plus. So 4, 10, 5, 0, 4. So it's 5, 0, 4. Are we done? No, don't forget. Plus the 36, okay? So 504 plus 36 equals to um, 540. And that's the answer, 540. Okay, take note. 